What are you doing here now? Um, we are avoiding the wasps. Um, <laughs> yeah, the wasps are bad. Yeah, they are bad, actually. Um, well, we are taking a destructive sample for baseline values. Um, so we've taken a blood sample, and we can look at stress levels in the fish, among other things, and general health indicators. And then we take a bunch of other tissues uh, for genetic study and can actually learn a lot of information about the fish. What about for the parasite that uh, attacks the... Yep, the um, we actually have taken a bunch of tissues for histology as well and they are able to look at kidney parasites and other problems in the heart and liver, spleen. What? Do you know the name of that parasite because I can't pronounce it? Can you? <laughs> Parvicapsula. Is that yeah. the one you're thinking yeah, of? Yeah, let alone spell yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. Yeah, this is uh, Jennifer, the reporter from The Progress, Hi. and your name is? Hi, Jennifer. My name is Jamie Hills. Okay. And um, Mike Donaldson is also doing a bunch of uh, radio tagging okay. as part of the study. So, so you're, you're all with Fisheries and Oceans, are you? Or are you, are you with there? Or are you uh, with Bob, uh, with Thomas? Uh, no, I'm with Fisheries and Oceans, and um, Mike is a PhD student from Carleton University. Yeah. So how many how many are you doing samples every day? You're doing a couple, or uh, not every not every day for destructive, but once a week mm -hmm. as part of the study. Yeah. Um, but we also okay. try and take just blood samples from fish that have been landed mm -hmm. and uh, use as comparison. And what about, are you doing any radio tagging today or? Uh, yeah, you can ask Mike about that. Yeah, yeah we've been doing radio tagging throughout the whole study. So um, we're putting out between 75 and 100 tags. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we're able to track yeah, fish exactly. movement and behavior after release. Yeah, that's did, what you're asking. Did you so that's, our, that's our main one? objective. You've got stations all the way up the system then, have you? Yeah, they're all throughout, throughout the whole watershed. How many do you have then? Uh, do you know how often? I know there's one at Hell's Gate, I believe. And yeah, there's, I think there's around 20 or 25 that are, uh -huh. that are deployed. And yeah. um, it's actually working with, we're working with a consulting company uh, that, that's looking after uh, data management. And right, yeah. And now, have you got any in, in the feeder streams at all, other than the Fraser? Have you got some? Yeah, and yeah it's actually right up into many spawning tributaries mm -hmm. and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Do you have any of the radio tags there that you're. Uh, yeah. Oh, there they are. They're putting them in. These are quite expensive, I understand, aren't they? Sorry, James. Not too bad. I mean, they're, they're about. Um, it's about two hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. Smack away the wash. I had six hundred at one time. Two hundred a piece. I'm not sure. On the table. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Mike, could you could you talk about the purpose of the radio tagging? This is the second of a four-year study. This is the first time you've done the radio tagging. Can you talk about the purpose of it? Um, well, I mean, the purpose is really just to track uh, movement, uh, so behavior, um, upstream and downstream movement, um, and also it allows us to assign survival. Allows us to assign survival. Yeah, based on. What does that mean? Based on whether in or not, <laughs> Based on whether or not fish make it up to spawning areas. Make it up to spawning areas. Mm -hmm. How many samples I see are you taking from each fish? Then I see your. Um, quite a few. So yeah. I've taken a, a heart sample and liver, and I'll do a kidney, a muscle, and gill. And we'll take a DNA sample from these fish as well to find out so what, what, what population uh, what, they are. What population or stock they are, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. What else are you finding out from the, from the samples besides, like you said, uh, uh, what population or stock they're from? Um, stress indicators yep. from the blood. Oh, thank you. And um, some of the tissues that we're collecting are for a genetics study. And uh, they can look at... Uh, a bunch of different things actually. They have about five tissues, I think, that they look at. And uh, anything from uh, immune responses to uh, uh, osmoregulation and how prepared they are for fresh water. And we sample these fish um, in the ocean as well as in river. So we follow certain populations from 
um, off Vancouver Island through Johnstone Strait and then all the way up to spawning. So we get a really good time series. Are you going into the brain there now? Is that what uh, that is? Or? Yeah, yeah, this is the brain. <laughs> and is that for a stress um, factor, is it? Uh, not so much oh. in the brain, but uh, they do look at individual parts of the brain separately as well, not just the whole thing. So, um, yeah. and Jamie, you were saying um, samples heart, liver, muscle, gill, DNA, brain, and blood. Brain, blood, blood plasma. Blood plasma? Mm hmm. Did you dump? No. <laughs> so, I didn't hear from uh, earlier. Could you say, are you just here today or are you here weekly? Uh, we're here weekly as well. Um, we also sample in yeah, in other different sites yeah, along the river. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we try and time it with Mike and uh, and his radio tagging and uh, make sure that we get get a good number series throughout the throughout the study. Uh, Mike, are are you on the radio tagging? Are you uh, tagging them after being in the pens for 24 hours, or some of them you're tagging right away after being captured? We, and we've got both. Yeah, we've yeah. got freshly landed fish that are caught by anglers, mm -hmm. and then freshly caught fish uh, from the beach sand, and then also um, we have fish that, that are held for 24 hours as well. Are they going to do a beach sand here pretty quickly? Were they? Or do you know, or today? Yes, actually they've been doing it, doing it throughout the day. Yeah. Um, the beach sand site is just up the, uh, up the bar a little bit. Okay. Well, that gives your anglers a rest then when they're coming through, eh? Well, actually they just go up at the top of the bar and just do it. Oh, they do so it? Do it yeah. Uh, pretty sure. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really disturb the anglers. When he gets a fish on, and we'll see how she's taking it back to, and puts it in the pen. Oh, okay, right. This would be a perfect way like, to follow her and watch her as she puts it back in the pen. Nope. Well, you usually meet me halfway. <laughs> Bigger than it was set up can't the last year. I can't remember. Yeah. So things look like they're going pretty well on the study so far? Yes. Uh, 63 sockeye in these two pens right now. So uh -huh. we've... Uh, we're approaching 200 fish for since the start last Monday. Okay. And what was your target? 300, was it? Yes. Yeah. So we're, we're actually coming ahead of target. Any idea what... Are, are these early summers? I or, think we're into the summers now. Into the summers now? Choco fish. Choco, yeah. They're not ready yet, no. Okay. Are they going to... Uh, do a radio tag, Frank, or? I think they're done with radio oh, okay. tag. Okay, today. Did you see today? No, that was yesterday. Okay, yesterday. Is that the biggest day of the, of it, the study? It's the so biggest, biggest day of the two years yeah. of the study. How are the volunteer numbers? They're exceptional. Yeah. Uh, we're probably <laughs> averaging 28 to 33 people per day of uh, the study. I'm going to do a beach sink. Yeah, they, uh, they made me put the boat there. One of the anglers wasn't too happy because where I parked, but they couldn't pull me down there. Is there any way you can hold the fish up before you put it in, or are you scared of losing it? <laughs> can you hold it up a bit, Frank, just for uh, for uh, Colleen? If you come in the water here, you can take a picture of Yeah, well, I don't know if Colleen wants to get that wet. <laughs> I 
Can you just hold it up? Just lift it a little bit. There you are, Colleen. Yeah, I got it. Got it? 